Okay, welcome then to this lesson on significant figures and estimation. So I'll show you an example. All right, so it says by rounding each number here to one significant figure, significant means that it's important, I suppose. Estimate the answer to this calculation here. Remember, estimate just, just means like a sensible guess. But it should be a quick calculation you can do in your head pretty much okay so i'm taking these two and if you're rounding to one significant figure it's an easy process find the first non-zero digit because it says one it says one significant figure then find the first digit your cutoff goes after that first digit and check this All right and obviously eight means round up all right so this it's going to go to 80 okay to one significant figure see look there's just one digit there in it now one non-zero digit and this one here my cutoff is here and five also means round up and so this will go up to 30. remember this is going to be an estimation for this calculation so don't forget your approximation sign remember that it's a wiggly equal sign and 80 times 30 is 2400 because eight times three is 24 and you've got two, two zeros to go on the end. Easy. All right, next one then. Perhaps pause the video, have a go. Come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. So this one, similar sort of thing. It's still one significant figure. So for this first, num first number here, here's my cutoff. I'm checking the three. And a three means round down, then it or some people say, say the same. This would go to 200 here. This one, nine means round up. This would go to 50. Remember, it's an approximation. And 200 times 50, well, two fives are 10. And there's three zeros on the end. So this is approximately 10,000. Then one more. Again, pause the video, have a go. Come back when you're ready. So this one, 0.265 times this year. You might recognize this number of years an approximation for pi, 3.14159. Again, this one, be careful with the first number though, because you don't start counting until you see a non-zero digit. This first zero here is not helpful, all right? So it's not classed as an important digit or a significant figure, so, this one doesn't count. This is the first non-zero digit, the two. So this one, your cutoff goes here. And six means round up. So this would be approximately 0 0.3. This one, three is non-zero. So here's my cutoff here. And one means stay the same. So this is about 0 0.3 times three, which you know, obviously is going to be 0 0.9. All right, we're done. So watch this, watch the rounding, okay? If a number starts with zero, don't start counting until you've got a non-zero digit. Okay, here's the main task for this one. For each calculation, round each number to one significant figure first, and then estimate the answer. And I've got the answers for you in a short, uh, well, a short while, okay? Okay, welcome back then. Those are the answers here, and on top in blue, are the numbers I estimate, I, I used to estimate. Those are my one significant figures rounded for each calculation, okay? So mark those, all right? And then one quick checking question, which is in three parts. So put the head in checking question, and then, you know, pause the video, have a go. Come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back then. So if I write this first one out, this time it wants us to round this number not to one significant figure, but to two significant figures. Okay, it's the same method though, because it's two significant figures, you find the second non-zero digit and there's your cutoff. So the five is the first non-zero digit, the six is the second, so the cutoff here is after the six and three means, you know, round down or stay the same. So this will go, the five stays as it is, the six, 
goes down to the next one, so five, six, and everything else goes to zeros. This would be 5,600. You could put point zero zero, but there's not much point because that's the same as 5,600. Okay, and that's been rounded to two significant figures. Okay, that's shorthand there. S dot F is shorthand for significant figures. This one's three significant figures. So find the third non-zero digit and then do your counting. Okay, so one, two, three, there's my cutoff. Seven means round up. And remember, it only affects the digit next to it. So one, six, eight, and then everything else goes to zeros. So five more zeros, one, two, three, four, five. If you want to put commas in, that's fine. But that's three significant figures. And this last one, 0 0.0526 DME2157. Again, this is two this is two sig figs. All right. Remember though, the leading zeros don't count. So the second non-zero digit is the two. Here's the cutoff. Six means round up. So this will go to naught point naught five three. And everything else goes to zeros. So I need to have six zero. Oh, I, I would put six noughts on the end, but what's the point in there? Okay. It's going to be the same as 0.053. The three sig figs. And with that, we're done. Easy peasy. Okay. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you soon.